Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lore and I recently started this channel to share my experience in the data analytics and data science space. And when I recently posted a video about how to recreate the data analytics project that got me multiple jobs as a data analyst, and well, that video got quite a lot of views. And you might ask yourself, so what? Well, I went through all the comments that you guys sent me and quite a lot of you asked me how I combine and format all the charts and KPIs that I created in one single dashboard. And this is precisely why I'm doing this video to cover exactly those details that I haven't covered in the previous video. And by the way, don't worry, you can follow this video even if you haven't watched the other one. And also let me take this chance to tell you that if you want me to cover any specific topic, please leave a comment down below because that is my first source of inspiration. And I will leave the link to the dashboard and the data set in the video description. And well, let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. So in my previous video, and we'll leave the link up here, we cover step-by-step step how to recreate a COVID vaccination tracker using Tableau, which is probably one of the most used tool by data scientists and data analysts. And so we created different worksheets, KPI and charts, but what I haven't covered in that video and exactly what I'm gonna cover now is how to put all of those together to create a final dashboard and also how to use special formatting tips that you can also apply to whatever Tableau file you're working on. And so if you're clear with this context, you know, we have all these KPI and charts that we wanna put together. Let's now see how to create our final dashboard. So first thing first, let's open the Tableau dashboard and check again the worksheets and charts that we created together. So we have three KPIs that we made. Then we had uh, this bar chart here, then we have a map and also this scatter plot and the data source um, info page. Okay, so now that we have all the worksheets ready, what we are gonna do is to uh, create a new dashboard and we're gonna call it COVID vaccine tracker and we're gonna move it at the start. The first thing that we're gonna do is to um, insert some vertical containers into the dashboard because we're gonna put charts basically from the top to the, to the bottom. And also um, we're gonna insert the title of the dashboard at the top as the first step. We're gonna change the color to blue uh, of the whole container. And then we're gonna drag text into the container. And uh, this is gonna be the title of the dashboard. As you can see, COVID-19 global vaccine tracker. Um, and also I put a few lines to kind of summarize what the dashboard is, is telling us. I think it could be a good practice to insert some insights already uh, in, the, in the title itself. And we're gonna just make the title a bit smaller and uh, that's, the, that's it for the first step. And now what we want to do is to insert all the worksheets into the dashboard. So we can see all of these here in the left menu. But before doing that, I want to check that we have all the filters within the worksheets themselves, because as soon as I drag them, I will have also the filters dragged into the dashboard. So I've added the continent filter. We have the legend for the bar chart, so that is fine. And all the other worksheets are clean. And so what we can do now is to drag each worksheets into uh, the, the dashboard. You see uh, the, the filters are added automatically as well and uh, we're gonna add them inside the vertical container uh, one by one. So yeah, as you can see, all the worksheets are now um, one uh, on top of the other. Uh, obviously we don't care about the disposition now. This is something that we're gonna uh, fix at a later stage. And the first thing I'm gonna hide all the titles of the worksheets because the title is something that we are gonna add uh, separately um, ourselves. And then because uh, the, as you can see, the space of the dashboard is not enough, I'm gonna also increase the height uh, of the dashboard. I'm gonna set it into 1,500. Now, what we want to do is to start to position the different elements in the dashboard in a uh, nicer way. So the first thing to do, I want to position the KPIs uh, one next to each other. So I'm gonna drag the horizontal container into the dashboard and I'm gonna drag the first KPI inside the horizontal container, the second KPI uh, to the right, and then again also the third one in the same way. And uh, this is how to position the KPIs they want to see at the top of the dashboard. 
Also, this is the, the legend for the bar chart. So I'm gonna put it uh, at the, the top of the, the bar chart and just uh, adjust a bit of the, the size of that. And also these filters here, uh, for now I'm just gonna put it um, under the, the title and then uh, we're gonna uh, take care of those at a, a later step. But yeah, for now I'm just dragging those in the, the dashboard. And now yeah, I'm gonna adjust a bit the size of the, uh, the different charts. Uh, but again, something that we're gonna finalize later, but it's just for us to have everything in, um, in the dashboard kind of visible. Now, something else that we want to do is to center uh, the different elements in the dashboard. So this really depends on the elements we are going to work on. So for example, here for the container, we're going to distribute content evenly for the legend uh, here in the, um, for that bar chart, we are going to actually add a, a blank element to the left of the, of the legend itself. Uh, so that is kind of a trick that I learned um, to make it easy to center some of the elements. And also, if we scroll down uh, to the bottom, the data source uh, banner, this one we're gonna right click and fit uh, with. So this is different methods to, to center the elements in the dashboard. Now the next step is actually what I consider to be a best practice when building a dashboard is to put titles for the different sections of the dashboard to make it clear to the user what we are trying to achieve with, uh, with our charts. So I'm gonna put a text. In this case, this, this is the title of the first section uh, of the dashboard. And then I'm gonna do the same for the second section where we see uh, basically the vaccination over the uh, GDP per capita. So I'm gonna put another uh, text into the dashboard and this is the, the title of that specific section. And uh, the next step, in case uh, you forget any elements to the dashboard, so for example here, I would like to have the legend for the map. You can right click the specific chart and legend, and the legend will, be, will appear in the dashboard, so I can move it on the top of the map. And also another good practice for the, another formatting tip is to actually add some elements to separate the different sections. So I can add a vertical uh, object into the dashboard like so. And then on the layout, I can change the background color. So I'm gonna choose this uh, yellow color. And then I can adjust the uh, outer padding to basically um, change the size of this element. Uh, and then I can also edit the height from uh, by right clicking on the container and this is it. This is kind of a nice element to separate different sections of the dashboard. Now, because again, we lack a bit of space in the dashboard, I'm gonna um, increase a bit more the height of the dashboard. So I'm gonna put 2200. And now I want to take care of the um, position of the filters on top. And this is a bit tricky one because I would like to group together the date filter with the location filter. So. What I'm gonna do is uh, first creating a vertical container and putting inside the vertical container the continent and then again inside the same container at the bottom the country. So that would be our kind of location uh, filters grouped together. And as you can see here, these are two elements within the uh, vertical container. And I'm gonna do the same, uh, but this time for the time filter, so the start date and the end date. So again, horizontal, sorry, vertical container into the dashboard. So start date at the top and in the same container, end date at the bottom. And now something that maybe is not very intuitive, I'm gonna actually insert the horizontal container and um, including the vertical containers that we created inside the horizontal one. And I'm actually gonna insert, first of all, some blank elements into the containers because this is a bit of a trick to uh, make it easier to position uh, different elements into the containers. So now I'm gonna select the vertical container that we created before for the location, and I'm gonna ins insert it inside the horizontal container. And I'm gonna do that in the same way for the uh, date filters. And I'm gonna just move the blank element that I created before uh, in between the, the filters. 
and uh, just adjust a bit of the size again of the title. Another cool uh, formatting tip for you is to add image and icons into the dashboard to help the user to navigate your different charts and different filters. So as you can see, if I drag image in the dashboard, I can either insert an image from my laptop or a link uh, from the web. And in this case, I'm gonna add um, two different icons and images. So one for the date filters and one for the uh, location filters. So I'm gonna just remove the blank object that I created before and then just moving um, the um, containers the, for the date filters um, in between. So we're gonna have like an icon, date filter, another icon and location filter. And then I'm just gonna adjust a bit the size of the different uh, elements in the dashboard. And I'm gonna do exactly the same for the key uh, KPIs at the top. So in the same way, I would like to have icon, then first KPI, second icon, second KPI, and then third icon and third KPI. And for now, I'm gonna just keep the placeholders for the images. And what I'm gonna do is to um, remove the distribute content evenly in this container so that I can adjust manually the size of the different elements. I'm gonna also increase the width of the dashboard just because again, we are lacking a bit of space here. Um, and then the, the next step is um, again to adjust the size of some of the uh, images and elements uh, for, the, for the filters. And then I'm gonna change the background of the filter container just to again separate it from the rest of the dashboard. And then for the KPI, I'm gonna right click and then fit height to make it um, centered within the container. And I'm gonna do the same for the other two KPIs as well. And then again, I'm gonna adjust a bit the size of the other charts in the dashboard just to make sure that everything is visible. And so now this is the final result once I'm, I've added the icons that were missing before. So two websites that I would recommend are Flat Icons or even Canva to find um, nice icons and also match the colors with whatever you have in your dashboard. And there you go, this is the final dashboard that we made together. And as always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that we can help even more people in their data analytics and data science journey. And well, this is it for this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.